Hi guys, I'm back here with a new video again and today we have a dotted cure. I have to admit I'm not too impressed by this design but it's mainly because of the color combination but of course you can change that up so that's actually why I decided to upload it but in my defense you have to admit that these colors do look pretty good when you see them next to each other but the purple kind of got cancelled out by the other two colors but you will see that in the video so let's jump right in so apply your base coat to protect your nails and then we're going to apply this beautiful pink holographic nail polish it's by Fun Lacquer and I love the Barbie look of it For the next step we're going to apply liquid latex to our cuticle and as you can see I was being a little bit crazy with my liquid latex. Um, don't do that if you could avoid it. Next we're going to use these beautiful holographic nail polishes for our gradient. So apply these colors to a makeup sponge and make sure they overlap a little bit so they will blend a lot easier onto the nail and then sponge it onto your nail and then um, where did the purple go? this is what I meant in the beginning of the video the purple is actually kind of being cancelled out so if you are going to use similar colors I would recommend to use a purple that is a lot more darker than mine is for those of you wondering about the purple nail polish it is just actually opaque in two coats it is just with these two specific nail polishes that it kind of faded out next peel off your liquid latex and as you can see my gradient is not really a gradient you can't really see a big color difference so as I said use different colors or use colors that are a lot more different from each other so next we're going to use dot vinyls dotted vinyls I don't know what to call these but you can see there are dots we're going to use the nail vinyl on a nail art mat and here I'm using the Moyu London one and it's called your magic workshop so next we're going to use this gorgeous teal color I am so in love with this nail polish I love teal and I love flakies so this is perfect for me we're going to sponge this teal color onto our vinyl onto the mat and we're going to use a makeup sponge for that we are following all of these steps to make our own decal uh, to place onto the nail so repeat until the glitters are opaque and well don't do what I did don't wait too long before you peel off your vinyl peel off right away when you finish sponging on the glitters because otherwise you're going to end up with this you want to end up with this so then apply top coat over it so we can actually use it as a decal then you want to reapply liquid latex around your nail because trust me you're going to need it let it dry and then apply a top coat to your nails to make it wet so we can stick the vinyl onto our nail once your vinyl is dry peel it off your mat and make sure to be very gentle with this because it is very delicate to use to stick down the vinyl I recommend using a cuticle pusher use it gently to press down the vinyl and make sure you uh, press it down nicely into all the corners and also make sure it fits nicely around the curve of your nail so I just switched to my middle finger here my first try on my pointer finger was just a disaster so yeah that's why I'm showing you this on my middle finger then use a brush dipped in pure acetone and just go around the nail and thin out the sides of the decal and keep repeating this step until you can actually kind of see through it like you can see here with me next use a pointy tool to cut around the sides of your decal I'm using a pair of tweezers here um, I recommend using something else though because it's really not the best tool to do this with then peel off the decal and your liquid latex and you got a clean cuticle so next I would take a brush dipped in acetone to take care of the parts that are sticking up and also go around the tip of the nail to make sure all of the edges are sealed in then to finish off this design I would seal in um, the decal with a thick coat of top coat and then we're done as I've said this is not my favorite color combo 
but the longer I wore it, the more I actually started liking it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!